You mentioned that you've shut down at least now two uh, temporarily shut down two restaurants here in, in the city. Quantify the magnitude of the losses that you're experiencing at this moment. Good morning, guys. So look, we, things have been very difficult for us since the social unrest of last summer. Um, uh, the last few weeks especially has, has pulled demand lower. So we as an industry right now are operating at, at 50 percent of where revenues need to be. So given that you had the protests, uh, you were coming off that, now you have the hit from the coronavirus, I frankly have to ask, how much longer are you uh, available to keep operating? How much cash do you have on hand to make sure that uh, you and your restaurants can be open when this all blows over? So look, I'll put this in very simple terms. Last summer, there were 15,000 restaurants in Hong Kong. I anticipate that by this summer, there'll be less than 10,000 10, restaurants. Um, where we'll, uh, we and, and others are looking at three successive quarters of financial losses now. Um, you know, so we squarely are between a rock and a hard place. Um, for us specifically, I, I feel that we've done really good work in Hong Kong. We've created a lot of goodwill over the last eight years. So in some way, shape or form, we will still here, be here when the dust settles. Um, but my priority at this time is the health, safety, and well-being of people within our community. That's, that's number one, number two, and number three on my list. Asim, I just want to jump in and bring you some breaking news. Washington State is to close all businesses within 48 hours. Uh, the governor of Washington State has banned all gatherings. It doesn't actually say gatherings of a certain number of people. It just says all gatherings. Washington State essential businesses, so grocery stores, pharmacies, will remain open. So the state of Washington in the U.S. going under essentially a complete lockdown with the exception of these essential services. All gatherings have been banned. And we know that schools have been closed for a couple of weeks there as well. Uh, Asim, let me get back to uh, your expectations. Uh, what are your, I guess, what are you modelling on in terms of when things might begin to get back to normal? I anticipate that the entire year is going to continue to be um, a difficult year. Look, Hong Kong is an inter international transient city. Um, but there are going to be no visitors for the next two to three quarters in the city. So I, I, I anticipate demand to stay at this level, 40 to, to, to 60 percent below, uh, below mean. Um, so, you know, going back to what you were talking about, if the government in Hong Kong um, mandates a, 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 sh a shutdown of restaurants and bars, well, we'll get behind that. If, if the government feels that that's the best way for us to, uh, to tackle the pandemic, we'll, we'll do what needs to be done on our side. You know, we've, we've, been in this, we've been in this agile state for the last three, four quarters, so recalibrating, readjusting will not be difficult. Typically, when it comes to commercial landlords in Hong Kong and even some residential landlords, there's been really a reluctance to give any rent reduction, right? A, a number of landlords would rather kind of see uh, their shop fronts or their premises remain empty than reduce rent. Do you think that's going to change in terms of what we've, we're finally seeing? You know, it's been one thing after another. This, the coronavirus impact is really just coming on top of almost, what, a year of these protests? Look, yeah, we, we've ha we have over 30 commercial properties in Hong Kong. Uh, so we work with all sorts of landlords, the larger established houses and independent landlords. And, and uh, so far, um, our landlord partners have been very supportive. Uh, but that also is because, as I said earlier, we've done good work in Hong Kong over the last eight years. So we have, we have a good reputation. Um, but for the most part, to answer your questions, we've had a lot of support.